Can you give us some explanations about the, the dynamic soaring and how the dynamic soaring works? Well, everybody thinks that dynamic soaring when they see the video is just fast, going fast. But it's actually a whole different kind of flying and it's ex extremely fun to do. What happens is you have to have a ridge that's very sharp on both sides. And <clears throat> your plane, you launch off into lift and you only need to be about 10 feet up. You don't need a lot of energy. You double back over the hill, but you dive down below the hill. When your plane has crossed the plane of the hill, your tail feather, you immediately turn and do knife edge, which hard turn, and your plane comes knife edge around, and as you cross the road, you need to be going up and in a bank. Now your plane is dead over the road, but not into lift. You pull hard elevator, and you'll hear this sound. And it's, I don't know if it's a high speed stall or some sort of turbulence, but you get a and your plane fires to the back. And then, again, the pulling, and it's just a matter of synchronization. It's and you get this grinding, and the speed goes phenomenal. We flew with approximately six to 10 homies combating in dynamic soaring, maybe at 100 miles an hour. And it's nothing but laughing. And once you've done it, you have to continue to do it. I mean, it's almost like the grass is so home. And it's not because it's fast, it's because it's just this free energy. It's, the, it's probably the best thing I've ever done in soaring. Where is that? Being my first Where is that? Style. I'm sorry? Where is that? Uh, you can do dynamic soaring wherever you have a sharp ridge like but that. But where are you doing it? Okay, Parker Mountain is just um, basically south of here, and they're going to go. Joe Wirtz and the rest are going today after yeah, the event. Maybe I will go see. I would not miss it if you're... It's on the way to Los Angeles, right? It's, you're going to pass right through. So, so if, you have, if you have the chance of seeing that, you never have. You, 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 you should have never uh, miss it. Do you have a plane with you? No. Well, somebody will give you a phone. Do you fly mode one or two? Regular. So, elevator... As you fly, one okay, good, good, good. I like that because they'll borrow your foamy. You can't hurt them. Even at a hundred, they just bounce. You, know, you may hit somebody, but that's part of being. That's called slope bowling. <laughs> so, what is the, the maximum speed you can uh, go for by like, the dynamic I don't know. I've heard I've heard stories of 180 something like that. I, I think when we saw what. Uh, Joe just said uh, the maximum he might be able to, to catch up would be something like 300 miles. Okay, yes. Yeah, so so the theoret 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 theoretical ma maximum, uh, he said is something, or he just found out is something like 420 or 450 miles. And he said that uh, in case he got a real robust, rigid, uh, all carbon model, he may. Uh, fly something like 300 miles or more. And it's the stiffness that counts in order to take advantage of that energy. Because uh, the, even the plane he had, which is all molded in carbon fiber and reinforced, when he really started exceeding probably 200 miles an hour, uh, you could actually see the wings bow up into a V. But he was doing uh, virtually, his plane was coming and he was doing this type of turn, that sharp. When I did it, and I was probably exceeding 100 miles an hour, I was doing circles like this. But his was... The good thing is a nice key point is where all the pieces are yep. Like that, and that's uh, probably a three, well, it's over a three meter ship, so it kind of gives you an idea of what's going on. At one point we got synchronized, I was doing slow circles, and he came around, and he was doing three circles to my one, so it was almost the end of a clock passing each other. It's an awesome sight. Need to do dynamic soaring.
pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> It'll get worse. Just can't get it. <laughs> wow. It's not that slow. Yeah, it's pretty wimpy there. It is. <laughs> <laughs> this is really bad. Hey, man. <laughs> it's mini. Put it in the master's hand. You guys don't know what fast is. <laughs> I think it's about to happen. Just get a little more energy up front. Let's... I'll wait for my car. Gordy, do you intend to get killed or why are you walking through that way? <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm kind of here, it sounds like the elevator is losing air at certain points. You get that. What servos do you have in there, Joe? Yep. Just doing slow braking on the back side. <laughs> be fast. Mm. Look at this. You have this ballasted, Joe? I've got that one. Oh, okay. Shit. I'm going to wait a couple minutes for the wind to come back. Like you get going back. <clears throat> so, is somebody building you a great big sled to get up to 440 miles an hour? I, I should build something that's uh, taken. I blew up a diamond up here about a, two months ago. Really? Two weeks before I went to the world, Ooh. I shredded an airplane. With a wing pole? Yeah. It was a really turbulent day in the backside. R and R's not interested in just making you a tank? Nah. Really? You'd think they would. That's nothing I'd like to see in last day. That's cranking. Who's that? Stupid. You gonna do this in Germany? No. No, no? I've never seen it. Look at the wings flag. <laughs> Holy cow. Slow down much, I don't know. Yeah. This is like a total. This is like a cruise. Yeah. 